Imagine right now as you sit reading these words, a silent conversation is happening inside your body. Your cells are quietly negotiating with stored energy, your hormones are sending chemical messages, and deep within your tissues, microscopic decisions are being made about fuel. The question isn't whether your body burns fat, but when this ancient survival system may finally awaken from its patient waiting. Most people think fat burning is something that happens during exercise or after skipping a meal, but the truth is far more elegant. Your body operates like a sophisticated energy management system, one that has been refined over millions of years of evolution. Every breath you take, every heartbeat, every thought that crosses your mind requires fuel, and your body has developed an intricate hierarchy for choosing which fuel to burn first. Right now, glucose is likely flowing through your bloodstream, the quick-burning sugar your cells prefer for immediate energy. It's like kindling in a fire, bright and fast, but it doesn't last long. Meanwhile, stored in quiet reserves throughout your body, fat cells wait like logs in a woodshed, packed with concentrated energy but requiring a different kind of metabolic fire to release their power. The transition from sugar burning to fat burning isn't a switch that flips. It's more like a gentle tide that slowly changes direction. Your liver holds about 12 hours worth of glucose, stored as glycogen, a branched chain of sugar molecules that can be quickly broken down when your blood sugar begins to drop. Think of glycogen as your body's emergency checking account, always ready for immediate withdrawal. But here's the part most people never hear. Even while your body is still burning through its glucose reserves, fat oxidation is already happening at a low level. Your cells are always burning a mixture of fuels like a hybrid engine that can run on multiple energy sources. The question isn't when fat burning begins, but when it becomes the dominant process. Around the eight hour mark after your last meal, something subtle begins to shift. Insulin levels start to decline and this hormonal change sends quiet signals throughout your body. Lower insulin is like removing a gentle break from your fat cells. They begin to release stored fatty acids into your bloodstream, making them available for your organs to use as fuel. Your muscles are among the first to make this transition. Unlike your brain, which initially requires glucose, your heart and skeletal muscles can efficiently burn fat for energy. As the hours pass, these tissues become increasingly skilled at extracting energy from fatty acids, like experienced craftsmen working with familiar materials. By the 12th hour, your liver begins a remarkable transformation. With its glycogen stores running low, it starts breaking down fat into smaller molecules called ketones. These ketones are like a universal fuel that can power your brain, heart, and other organs. It's your body's way of ensuring that even when glucose becomes scarce, your most vital functions continue without interruption. What happens next surprises even researchers. Instead of feeling depleted, many people report a sense of mental clarity around this time. Your brain, initially resistant to this fuel change, begins to adapt. Ketones provide a steadier energy supply than glucose, without the peaks and valleys that come from sugar metabolism. It's like switching from a flickering candle to a steady oil lamp. The real change is often described at 72 hours. By now, your body may have more fully committed to fat as its primary fuel source. This isn't starvation mode, despite what many people believe. It's actually a long-term energy system your body is capable of using when needed. Fat provides more than twice the energy per gram compared to carbohydrates, making it an incredibly efficient fuel source. Inside your cells, mitochondria begin to increase their fat-burning capacity. These cellular powerhouses can adapt by producing more of the enzymes needed to break down fatty acids. It's like upgrading the engine in your car to handle a different type of fuel more efficiently. Your hormones orchestrate this entire process with remarkable precision. Growth hormone levels may rise, helping to preserve muscle tissue while encouraging fat breakdown. Norepinephrine can increase stimulating the release of fatty acids from your fat stores. Meanwhile, cortisol helps regulate this process, ensuring that energy release happens at a sustainable rate. But the story inside your body quietly shifts around the seventh day. What once felt like adaptation now becomes optimization. Your liver may become remarkably efficient at producing ketones, your muscles prefer burning fat for sustained energy, and even your brain can adapt to thrive on this alternative fuel source. Yet what your cells do next is even more unexpected. They begin a process called autophagy, literally meaning self-eating. This isn't destruction, but renewal. 
Your cells start breaking down damaged proteins and organelles, recycling these components into new, healthier structures. It's like your body's internal renovation project, quietly updating and repairing itself from the inside out. The timeline of fat burning reveals something profound about human biology. Yet we're not designed to constantly snack or maintain steady blood sugar levels. Our bodies evolved to cycle between periods of abundance and scarcity, using different fuel sources as they become available. This metabolic flexibility isn't just about survival, it's about optimization. During this process, inflammation markers throughout your body may begin to decrease. Your blood vessels can relax slightly, your digestive system gets a chance to rest and repair, and your nervous system finds a new rhythm. You may feel different on the outside, perhaps more focused or energetic, but inside your organs are working with a quiet efficiency they rarely experience in our constantly fed modern world. The next phase reveals something your body almost never shows openly. Around the two-week mark, if this fat-burning state continues, your metabolism doesn't necessarily slow down as much as scientists once thought. Instead, your body may become more efficient at using energy, like a well-tuned engine that gets better mileage. This challenges the old assumption that extended periods without constant feeding automatically lead to metabolic slowdown. Your fat cells themselves undergo a remarkable transformation during this period. What once seemed like static storage units reveal themselves to be dynamic, responsive tissues. They begin releasing adiponectin, a hormone that can help improve insulin sensitivity and reduce inflammation throughout your body. It's as if your fat tissue transforms from a passive warehouse into an active participant in your metabolic health. The communication between your organs becomes more refined during extended fat burning. Your liver sends chemical messages to your muscles, your muscles respond to signals from your brain, and your digestive system coordinates with your hormonal networks. This internal conversation happens in the language of molecules and enzymes, creating a harmony most people never consciously experience. But here's what surprises researchers most about sustained fat burning. Your brain doesn't just adapt to using ketones, it may begin to prefer them. Neuroimaging studies show that brains running on ketones can demonstrate improved connectivity between regions responsible for focus and emotional regulation. It's like switching from a noisy, inefficient power grid to clean, steady energy that allows your neural networks to communicate with greater clarity. Around the three-week mark, something profound shifts in your cellular repair mechanisms. Stem cells, those master cells capable of becoming any tissue your body needs, may begin to increase their activity. This isn't just maintenance anymore, it's renewal. Your body can start producing new, healthier versions of cells that may have been damaged by years of constant glucose processing. 